no son de eso. Are you videotaping? This is what it looks like before we put in the animals. We will be putting the animals in next week. So, what will we be putting in? What? Cricket. Crickets. Roly poly. Worms. Uh, maybe a spider. Maybe. I think we're gonna say what we think the bugs are gonna eat. I think the bugs are gonna eat the radishes and the grass mostly because those are easier to get. I no. think that if we put a spider in there, maybe it will eat the crickets. Maybe. Oh wow! Oh, these are Uh, the worms will probably just eat the dirt. Yeah, and then the crickets they'll most likely be in the grass mostly. That way they can hide and be in camouflage and. Most likely, yeah. That way they can hide from the rolling poles. So I don't know if they're going to do anything to them. Today is the week where we added the animals. Um, yesterday, we added three roly polies and we have stopped watering and measuring our plants. That is because we sealed our ecosystem, which means that it will produce its own water and make its own water cycle. Today, we, um, like Luis Carlos said, we added some roly polies and then we added more peas in there and then um, also we put a cup upside down to act like kind of like a home for the roly polies and cave home whatever you want to call it and um, the roly polies what they do sometimes they'll dig in the dirt or what today we saw them they went up <laughs> they climbed up on top of the grass okay Last week, one of our teammates took it home for fall break and went to <laughs> one No, that was him. And when he and um, after he brought it back, there was it was okay, but there was this little green thingy climbing up the radishes, <laughs> climbing up the radishes. But we we three think that it was Mother Nature, so it wasn't his fault. <laughs> Luis Carlos. A life circle has happened. This is our terrarium. It looks crappy compared to the first time we did this. Before it was all luscious and green, and you, as you can see, I have to pull out dead grass right now. And well, our radishes, they died, then they grew back, which is kind of weird. We didn't think it would do that. Like you see here, before they were all tall, and you know, they were like stuff on tall. And then now they're small and tiny, like Isaiah Cole. I don't. So, so now, all right. Right now we just added some crickets. You can see the one right there. There's this one, and then there's this one also. Where is? He? Oh yeah, that's the bigger one. Where is he? Aha! There he is. Look at him move. Look at him go jolly around. Cause we just added crickets right now, and we're recording their activity. After they die. <laughs> yeah, before they die. <laughs> all right. So that's all for right now. Uh, to make a documentary. And. And what else? Uh, go and pick up my rubber band I threw. And where is it? Florida. What are you planning to do for the terrarium? Um, make it successful and uh, make it capable. Of, holy crap. Make it make it capable of um, having it grow more plants. <laughs> Jeremiah, what's your plan? What? For the terrarium. To grow all. Compared to their first documentary, because before it was all, you know, luscious and green, the grass, now it's all dead and yellow. The activity of the crickets, well, we need to see, we need to take this off because we want to see it because of like the evaporation, precipitation, whatever it is. We're only opening it slightly because we don't want them to like jump out or anything. The big ones over there, if you can see, moving that radish. The small ones are in there, over there. It smells so planty. And we don't see the roly poly, but they're probably underground because that's where they mostly are. And yeah, and then the crickets, they're just wandering around. They just like, they, you usually see them in the grass mostly. And radishes, they're just, they just go in because they want to see what, what it is and what it's about and everything. That's just like where they roam around and everything. What about the worms? 
the worms. Yeah, they're most likely underground. And also, we won't have any more uh, mold or anything because they're gonna eat the bacteria or the mold and then decompose it down into um, nutrients. And as you see over here, our peas are finally growing. I think that's because the worms and the crickets, I think those actually helped it grow even more. And we'll see what's in here. Pea seed growing in there. It's pretty cool. And that's about it.